so, 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 so. The third preseason game is behind us. Kings Warriors playoffs repeat, repeat. As we had a great playoff series last season and the golden one was packed for this goddamn preseason game, which is great. Great atmosphere, great vibes all around, man. Both teams should be in the hunt this season in a way. No Steph Curry, no Chris Paul as they both sit out and nothing new on Draymond, really. Before I get to the game, though, uh, Clay Thompson extension talks. Update. You know, was there by Woj and there have been some... Uh, con contracts, uh, some reports around it, uh, where um, Vogue said that there are, you know, no imminent updates per se. The Clay and the Warriors are far apart as Clay could enter free agency next season and Bob Myers even talked about it on this goddamn NBA countdown show. So that is something. Uh, but I also saw like two days prior that uh, Clay is looking for a a discount, will, willing to take a discount, essentially, and a Wiggins type, Wiggins type contract, which would make it like four years, 25 million a year, which is more than acceptable. So we will see what happens with that. I think there is no need to panic, no need to rush. Both sides clearly do want this, you know, relationship to continue, and that is what matters. Um, but at the end of the day, it does not have to, and I cannot imagine Clay playing in another jersey man simple as that <laughs> even if he was goddamn washed I, I i can't imagine it man I, I just don't want it man i just don't want it to be real i i know man i don't care about no titles if it means i don't, I don't know it's hard man it's really hard and by no means clay has washed this uh, you know at this point if you think that you clearly do not watch him he is not as good off ball defender as he once was and he can't stay as attached as he once did but he is still one hell of a player overall and yeah we will see what mike dunleavy jr cooks up on to the game the kings were not missing early on man let me just point it that way and they played fairly well um started missing after all missed a lot of wide open three pointers after we started you know playing better defense in a way closing out a little better but they were some there were some hitable shots nonetheless i want to talk about the two veterans that play today which is wiggins and clay essentially two of the bigger veterans right as uh, i really liked how wiggins played today he was aggressive as was needed without Steph. he looks more dialed in he looks really great on defense looks just ready to God damn make this all NBA defensive team as he wants to, which he said in an interview a few days prior, wants to be an all-star again, make an all-defensive team and go to the Olympics with Canada. Can Canada. God damn, why can I pronounce Canadian? Canada. C -c -c Canada. Oh, Canada. Okay, that that's weird. <laughs> but if you watch my um, FIBA recaps, then you got them know. So that is great. He looks great on defense. He looks healthy, which is the most important thing. The vibes look, once again, much better than last year. But to be fair, before Draymond punched pool, the vibes were goddamn precious. Unfortunately, we know what happened, which I literally just said like 10 seconds ago. Uh, Clay also looks locked in. Made some tough shots, which is great always. Like, goddamn, how does Clay make this all the time, right? He is, he is just one hell of a sniper special type of talent just incredible incredible shot maker and we of course need to create more for clay overall but he still can get his own and i liked i really liked that they are trying to give him some post post matchups where he backs up the smaller guard on him i think that's great even though we really need to work on our um we really need to work on our entry passes into the post because some of them are just awful. And we once again turn the ball over a little too much, but I'll talk about it a little later. And we should get better at these entry passes when Chris Paul, Steph and Raymond are there to make them. And it will be crucial for Clay to get these types of shots from time to time. But especially for Kuminga, who we'll talk about next. We have been talking about him every preseason game because that's been the story of the preseason obviously and uh, him and Moody and Tam taking a year free leap is the way for the Warriors to compete for the title this year um, of course we have been expecting wanting and needing a year three leap from these guys and so far so good the aggression is there for Kuminga the effort is better um, let me point out the negatives first I want to get that out the way he still takes bad angles on defense I would say 
he relies on athleticism way too much and not on fundamentals, which is fine, obviously. He'll get better at it as the year goes on. I believe in that. So if he will be getting the playing time he deserves, which is around 25 minutes a game. And he also, he also, like I said, wants to make the right pass and just isn't good at it yet, which obviously makes sense, right? We want him to adjust to the warrior system which he's trying to and those turnovers will come with the system and once he gets better at it it's great he's a willing passer which is the most important thing and he's gonna get better at it that i'm sure of and he needs to take overall better defensive angles and navigate off balls and screen defense and i'm sure he'll continue to improve and i like i said i really love the effort the aggressiveness he got to the line 17 times today which is insane 17 goddamn times he got to the free throw line and um made 13 of them i think so that's great that's what you need from your guys and i'm excited to see how he continues to grow on this and i'll show you some rebounding highlights of his also here which i mean that's what we need from him that's what steve Kerr wants from him that's what we all need from him it's obviously hard when he's guarding the better players as you know when wiggins is not on the floor he'll probably be the one guarding um the Aaron fox but of course, it will go game from game, night by night. Sometimes it will be GP2, sometimes it will be Wiggins, sometimes it will be Kuminga. And the defense should be good, but we have to wait and see what we get from Steph, from Dario Saric, and from Chris Paul. Those are our most questionable defender. Clay is, of course, questionable off-ball low, but it's all about communication, which Draymond should improve, like I said. We'll have to wait and see. Promising signs are here. And these rebounds are great. I love that from Kuminga. I love the aggressiveness. I love the effort, which is what we need from him. And let me go to the other year three leap player, which is Moses Moody, who continues his steady preseason. You know, consistent as hell. 15 points per game regularly uh, in the preseason right here. He has been, I'm pretty sure around 15 points every night, he had 16 today, has shot the ball really well, he should be around, you know, from the way his shot looks, and if he gets the playing time, he should be around 40% from the three-point line, his shot is just so goddamn pretty, and he was also not afraid to take the big shots, as, um, we'll see how the defense improvement goes, he's not bad per any say, he's a good weak side helper at the Pierce, which is great, but he obviously needs to get a little better at on-ball defense. But he's not bad per se, just not, not, I don't know, he's somewhere in there. But he has the intangibles to get better and hopefully the great staff around him. And he also needs to get a little better at finishing. He's, um, as uh, the guy, Al Uncle Alchemy always says, he's over-ambitious as hell, man. <laughs> he always tries to dunk on somebody. He thinks, you know... Might be might be thinking a little too much of himself, athletic, athleticity wise, athletic wise. If I wish I could speak a little better, but I'm trying. I'm goddamn trying, and hopefully it's a little entertaining for you guys. <laughs> and is there anything else I want to add? Shout out to Lester Quinones, new Jordan Pool, Valmar Jordan Pool, I guess. He shot the ball well, even though he's defensively he's probably as good as Jordan Pool. <laughs> and Trace Jackson Davis continues to make some good plays. Um, excited to see if he can truly get some minutes on this team because he's a big body and will need those for sure. And that's it. That's it. Any thoughts from you? Leave them in the comment section below. Be kind to yourself and to others and watch my videos.